What's up, my peeps? Day two, Devo time. Let's hit it. Proverbs 4, 20 through 27 says this, My son, be attentive to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Let them not escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and healing to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flows the springs of life. Put away from you crooked speech and put devious talk far from you. Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. Ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Do not swerve to the right, do not swerve to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. Guys, my challenge for you again today is just to hear God's word, be attentive to what he's saying to you. And he's saying this, hold close to it, and it will bring you healing. He says this, if you'll protect your heart, meaning not so much protect and guard your feelings, he's saying guard what your thoughts are. Guard what you're about. Guard what you intentionally focus on. And if you do that, it will give you springs of life if you focus on God's word. If you make the center of, of what you are and who you are about Christ, if you pour out your spiritual cup, let it fill in with God, then you're going to be filled with his goodness. You're going to be filled with his life. You're going to be filled with his attentiveness to the things that he wants you to be attentive to. He's going to let you see some of the things that he's been faithful to. He's going to see, you're going to see some positive things. You're going to see his hand moving in your life right now. Because it's so easy right now to be anxious. It's so easy to not to know, you know, am I going over here? Am I, am I going over there? You know, his word says this, consider and ponder the path of your feet and your, your steps will be sure. Because as we ponder on those things and we consider who God is, that he's still in control, that he's still guiding us, he's still leading us, he's still in control of this world, he's still protecting us, providing for us that if we can just rest and trust in him and give our faith to him and live by the faith that he's given us, then we know that we can firmly plant our feet and take a left step and a right step and be focused and be straight and know that we're walking towards him. So I hope today that you find some spring into your break as we look at Proverbs 4, 20 through 27. Look back at that. Be attentive to what God's having to say to you. He's saying this, I love you. I want good things for you. There are better days ahead, but I'm giving you good things even today. He's saying, I'm going to give you me. He's saying right now that if you can find me in my word, you can seek me out and you'll find me when you seek me with all your heart. So guys, do that today. Get into his word. Think about what he's trying to say to you. Maybe it's your favorite passage of scripture. Maybe you don't have a favorite, pas favorite passage of scripture. Well, I'm going to challenge you. Make Proverbs 4, 20 through 27 your favorite passage today. And I hope and pray that you'll tune in again tomorrow. Hey, we're going to have a Devo tomorrow, but we're also going to have a game. Got a special game for you, and there's going to be a prize to the winner. So I hope you guys will connect with me. Hope you're enjoying this Devo time. I love you. Let me pray for you, and I'll see you uh, tomorrow. Dear God, just thank you for who you are. Thank you for your word. Thank you that we can come to you, and we can find life in you. Father, we can find healing in you. Father, I pray we do protect our hearts, that we're vigilant that we keep those bad things out. Maybe it's bad thoughts. Maybe it's bad influences. Father, I pray that our speech does not reflect things that are not good, things that are devious. You know, we get wrapped up in controversy. We get wrapped up, wrapped up in things that are not uh, saying that we trust you. Father, I pray that in every, in every aspect of our life, including our talk and including our text and including our social media, Father, that we are being a reflection of the salt and light that you've asked us to be. So, Father, thank you for those opportunities. Be the life in us. Let us have that spring of you in our hearts. We ask it in Jesus' name.